this thing. Indeed. Get us a stream announced, and uh, then we're good. <laughs> Hopefully everything's all set up around. I'll raise the volume. Realize uh, that hadn't been brought back up. Yes, of course. You want to adjust your headsets, or do. I'm not the boss of you. Don't do <coughs> it, no! Satisfying crack of that beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeesh. Impressive. Yarfed. It's draft. It's coarse. Or nanigans. Alrighty then. I know, I'm the worst. Shame More like on. worst pick. Shame on you. <coughs> withstand. This spell is the one that everyone hates. Kind of a fuck you to a lot of spells. It's, uh... So this spell was actually really... Is actually attached to, uh, the Kosul Palace. Mm -hmm. Um, the Kuroviat Palace. Yes, I remember that, yeah. Um, and it was not in the adventure set, but it actually is a part of the newest draft set. And it's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I guess that's the pick, right? Yes. Augmented form was kind of a bomb in draft uh, back in the day, but it was also a legendary. That's, I think, six cost, fast speed, give plus six, plus six. Something else interesting here. The Steadfast um, Paladin is... Decent. Let's see. Keen Saddleback's quite good. Steadfast, pa Steadfast Paladin's pretty good. Like, you're always pretty happy to have him, particularly because of Onslaught. Uh, he can always attack in, you know. As long as he's around, he can get he can get an attack in, which is really nice. Yep. Uh, Heist is fine as filler. Taride test pilot's quite good. good. Granite coin's good. Fun fact about the coins: you don't actually need to be in their colors. <laughs> you can sort of treat them as colorless power that has like an effect, basically. Uh, okay. Um, they're nice to have when they're in your colors, but also like the ones that are good, you can basically just kind of yoink them out of packs. <laughs> Uh, which is something I hadn't really thought about. Huh. Alice and Deathjaw is pretty okay. Like, you really, really like two drops in this format because there aren't any. They don't exist. Yep. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go with Withstand and see if we can't just make a Justice deck happen. Fair enough. Justice is a good color. Justice is a good color. Withstand is a good card. Little Short Sword's pretty alright. Um, decent amount of decent time cards passed to us. Uh, the short sword's fine. I don't dislike it, uh, particularly because armor matters is like a thing that Justice does now. Mm. Uh, Wretched Talon is also pretty all right. Yep. Um, I think I'm like heard people talking about how they're like less high on Omnivorous Vorlunk than they thought they'd be. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not bad, but it's not amazing yet. But it is worth noting that these were passed to us. Yep. Um. That's an interesting one. Grab a sword. There's also this combustion brawler who's quite good. Mm. It's sort of thing like I really like this blade barrier, but it's also at common and like you kind of have to know that you're in an armor deck before you commit to it. If then, um, like, really, I mean... Brawler, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like the this is basically just kind of nice extra text to have it. Hurts those uh, corrupted behemoths quite uh, quite mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. which is always nice. Um, the fact that he's just six four overwhelm is also pretty strong. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just go with the silver short sword and see if I can't make this work. Fallen Minishalin's quite good. Eviscerate's quite good. Emerald coin is very good. 
Uh, heist is fine. So, it's interesting when you look at these two, you might think they're basically the same thing. The important thing to realize is that the emerald coin is in your power base. It doesn't count as like a spell that you have to put in your deck okay. in the same way that a heist does, you know? Yeah. Like, you only got so many slots in your deck. Well, you don't have to pay one for it, essentially. <clears throat> yeah, basically. All right, uh, so we've got two good time cards here, two good shadow cards here, uh, at least one, like, um, two de one good and one decent uh, justice card here, um, as well as the fire, so... Mostly, the yeah, like, does look like all three of these colors have promise. Mm -hmm. Um, Horn of Plenty is quite good. Mute is actually pretty good in this format. It does a lot of things like shutting off twist units and uh, being able to hit like unblockable units after they end after they emerge. Yep. Um, so it's actually a bit better than I originally thought. All right. Eviscerate is of course hard removal, which yep. is quite nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fairly expensive, but... Coin or something else? This is a good question. I mean, I can continue to keep my options open with the coin. So maybe I do just kind of sit with that. Hey, Ragni. Lurge Stigmalock is quite good. Uh, Blade Barrier, Faithful, Sorceress, and Emerald Coin are good. Blurry Chaser has fallen surprisingly Ooh, far here. Oh, he's a good boy. Um, I probably will just continue to take justice cards as long as they're offering us good justice cards, I admit. So what's, like, the best justice card here? Um... Probably either Faithful or Spellstrike Sorceress. Um... I think given the Silver, silver Short Sword, we actually have a pretty good way to get his onslaught, which is nice. Yeah. Uh... She kind of need you, you sort of need to know that you're going to be in spells for her to be really, really good. Mm -hmm. Whereas this guy is just a solid unit, so let's go yep. with that. That's an isolate. Pretty mm. happy for that. I haven't seen that one before. Um, so that just kills an enemy that's attacking you. Yep. It's kind of the new entrapment, except it costs two. Um, it's less good than you might think because it, uh, like, there are, there are actually fewer situations in this format where people do mm -hmm, attack mm -hmm, all in, uh, mm -hmm. or attack with just one unit. Yeah. But it does happen, and, like, removal is just good. Yep. Um, our Cannibal Elite's pretty good. Amber Coin's fine. Phase Out's pretty all right. Good idea at the time is better than I originally thought. Okay. Um, particularly because you can use it on, like, things that got generated, like Manufacture. Ah. You can build three Grenagans and then turn one of them into... Basically guaranteed to be a better card than a Grenadine. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Especially if you warp it off the top of your deck, because then it didn't cost you a draw. All right, but the I'm taking this isolate. Mm -hmm. Again, until they give me a reason not to be in. Uh, I do think time is the second open color in this. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of between taking a spell strike sorceress, high alert, or a quicksilver ooze here. Finally committing to another color. Yeah. Time is definitely open. Pony um, Patrol is also a decent card. Pony Patrol is pretty all right, yeah. I think I've seen less... Like, I feel like every single pack I've looked at time and been like, that's a card I could pick. Mm -hmm. um, I've just also had a Justice card that I could pick as well. Yep, mm -hmm. fair enough. Uh, High Alert's pretty good. Spell Strike Sorceress is pretty good. Kind of between the two of them right now. Again, until they force me to not play justice or to not yep. take justice i'm probably just gonna take justice it is so open right now yep it's like all of these are cards i'd be pretty okay oh, with yeah, picking deck, on their yeah. own mm -hmm. um i don't know which of these people would be more likely to like to pass you know um those blueprints and roosting warhawk are both quite all right like this is actually really good with this silver short sword turning that into a two four is Kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Roosting Warhawk is also just strong, though. Yep. Might just go with the unit here. I think you really have to be careful with units. That is a low falling daring maneuver. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we're probably um, grabbing that, right? It's either maneuver or the Cobalt Coin, which again, mm -hmm. even if I'm not in blue, I could just grab. Yeah. But I think maneuver is a good enough card. Uh, mining team's quite good. There's like there've been a surprising number of fire cards that have dropped this late. Maybe we are, we are just playing Arcano. Who knows? Amber yep. coin, probably. Yep. Odds are we don't end up playing a lot of the coins, but um, nice to have. All right. Well, that is All a right. defiance, which is nice. There's a plated Goliath there. These cards are pretty good. Um, 
Rallying Banner, I think, is probably pretty good in this format, although Defiance may be better. Mm -hmm. If I just load up on Removal, Removal's just so good. Yep. People talk about how, like, this is a format that you could play Iron Hook in, and if that's the level of removal you're willing to play, a card like Defiance is oh, ridiculous. Oh, yeah, Defiance is a really The Stark good Return's card. also, Dark like, returns good also to nice. see. Yeah. Um, we'll definitely want to see. All right, yeah, I'm committing to fire. Hello, <laughs> Dash and Craft Scallion. Is we have so seen good in this her format. do some fucking work. And someone passed it to us, so oh, there is that. Yes. All right, we have, there's another Defiance here. There's a Blink Wolf. Blink Wolf's actually a pretty okay card in this format. Uh, Copper Hall Recruit, Steadfast, Deputy. Um, I think it's between these two. This would be if I really want to start filling my units. This would basically be, all right, I have basically all the removal I want right now. And to be fair, Defiance is pretty fucking strong. Yep. This should hopefully allow me to pick most of the units even if I see like good justice non-units. This is the second Copper Hall Blessing to get passed to us. Yep. Nothing really good in this pack, so I'll probably just take it. Yeah. I don't think Tower Shield's gonna do too much for us. I probably won't play it, but take it. Um, Calderon or Gunsmith is a form of reach, and it's somewhat more exciting than uh, Copper Hall Recruit. Are we Catalyst kind of bad? Eh. Like I, is, eh. I, yeah, it's sort of like you gotta spend three turns to get a 5 4 without any mm -hmm. keywords on it. Yeah, not great. It's at five turns and six power at that, or three turns and six power. Mm hmm, mm hmm. No, we passed up Grit. How could we? That we did. Terrible. Heretic Ooh, and Bright Mace Bright Paladin. Mace. Pretty happy with the Bright Mace Paladin. Bright Mace will love that short sword. Yep. Um. Oh, no. Short sword's a relic weapon. Oh, okay. Yes. So we need weapons. He's still 3-3 three, three for 3, though. Yeah, he's still good. Perfectly happy with that. Uh, you can play the uh, emerald coin on him, or the withstand ah, if we're feeling yes. silly. Sure, yeah, both of those are pretty good. Let's see. Mithril Mace is pretty good. Spire Spell Sword is pretty good. Um, I'm at nine units right now, two of which I don't really want to be playing, so I might just take the Spell Sword before I take the Mace. Yeah. Pain is playable in this format. <laughs> um, you want second two of Pain, them? maybe a little less so, but hey. an outlet, right? Uh, your outlet's pretty good. It's unfortunately up against Sh Shugo Standard, Rampart Arbalest, Ceremonial Mask, and Gun Down. Um, probably Standard here. Uh, these two are both really, really good Relic weapons, but Shugo Standard is just wacky. Yep. Um, Ooh, another Bright Mace, Mace Paladin Mace over the pummel. pummel, I think. This is a really good card for someone who's drafting Shadow behind us. Oh, hell yeah. But I'm pretty happy to just We're grab a Bright Mace so Paladin. Yeah, we'll grab another Bright Mace. Bronze Crass is really good in this format. Hi, Smuggler. Yeah, someone passed a Howling Peak Smuggler to us. Um, so it's either Crass or Pummel. Um, this is actually really good more so with Twist, because like four hell, like four extra yeah. twists and draw a card on top of it yep. turns this into a really good weapon. Um, people I was listening to yesterday were talking about how, like, Worn Shield is almost a draftable card, the colorless 0-3, because you can twist it. Yeah. I'm okay with, uh, Pummel here. At the moment, I really just want to get, like, playable drops. Like, I'd really like this Sharpened Reflex, I'd really like this Mithril Mace, but shoring up my two drops is probably more important. Yep. Um, and I get the Mithril Mace anyway, which is nice. Yeah. I can play Scouting Party. Hell yeah! Woo! Meditation's playable in this format. Um, I might take a manufacturer over a pit fighter. Ooh, Pyre Adept. Pyre Adept or Blink Wolf is an interesting question. Like the wool, like two two attack is actually pretty good in this format in a way that it wasn't in the previous one. And having the warp means that if it's on your deck later, you just basically make it so that it's not actually a card you have to pull. Um. People are finding that this format is really, really good for warp. Like, you cards that have warp are actually all over the format, and you're starting to value them a lot more. Uh, um, which yes, is nice. Yes, here for heresy. The soaring guard that actually might be pretty okay here, yeah, as yeah, opposed to like lingering so, influence. Yeah. Like, I, it's a playable Ooh, unit. Tinker I like Tinker Apprentice. Apprentice. I, like, Tinker I Apprentice. like Gun Down, but I think we talked about how having an Isolate and two Defiances kind of means that I'm not too worried about 
uh, more removal, especially because gun down's fairly expensive. Um, deputy or compass? I don't think we'll. I, I don't. Compass could be quite good for those bright mace paladin. That is true. Yeah, that there's a chance that makes the deck. Can you give us a coastal diplomat whether right. you want it or not. Terror on the mountain. Um. Okay. So we've got tantrum, cinder sprite, steadfast paladin. Uh, flash grenade. Flash grenade's way better than I thought it was. Just, just uh, ask, okay. FYI. Okay. Um, if I look at this and kind of cut out the cards that I don't really like and from the units, I'm still sitting down at 14, though. Um, this guy's more of a spell than a unit. Oh, the Coastal Diplomat? The Diplomat, I think I'll make a decision on later. Okay. Um, I don't like it, but... Paladin or Sprite? Yeah, it's kind of the question. I might go with Paladin. I mean, as far as on, like... Getting it, hitting Svetya's Faithful is actually yeah. really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, this Warhawk is also a pretty good one to get. And of course, Emerald Coin being able to play the plus one, plus one. And hell, if I end up playing any of the other coins, that's good too. So I think Steadfast Paladin is fine as a pick. Yeah, he's a good boy. I think Salamander's all right. I think Steadfast Paladin's better, just in general. Like I'm, I'm okay these days with having a Sizzleback Salamander. I think we're much more likely to see another one of these pass to us than we are one of these. I'll go with that. Ooh, Zuberi's Longbow, Tauride Test Pilot, Roosting Warhawk. I, I like Zuberi's Longbow quite a lot. Um, yeah. It basically turns into a torch. I don't know how much scout, if any, we have, though. So these guys, we got the mining team, which is nice. Um, Mostly a 2-1 weapon for We two got the pummel. Bad. And that's about it. Um, it's a 2-1 weapon for two that when you scout plays Torch, which is quite good. Yeah, I think it probably is Tauride Test Pilot, given that this is not actually a 4-drop, it's a 2-drop. Yeah, yeah. You literally never want to uh, play this at 4 unless you are absolutely desperate and have nothing else to do. Yeah. Um, but I, I like Test Pilot. I would love to take the Longbow, but Pilot is really good. Wall Repeater's really mm, strong. Flurry Chains. We got a Blurry Tracer and a Streets of Flame here, though, so I'm pretty happy. Um, again, we're still fairly low on units. I feel really bad not taking a Streets of Flame because that's both removal and reach, but Blurry Chaser is so blurry good. Blurry Chaser is real fucking good. Yep. Huh, why not two of them, oh, I guess? Oh, yeah. Wow, someone passed a fucking Peak Top Trekker to us. Yeah, there you go. Jesus, Tyler. someone's going to enjoy uh, that in the Scout yeah. deck. Yeah, I think I would take this high alert if I had if this was a worse unit. Yeah, um, I think at this point I'm feeling pretty comfortable with my unit count, but yep. I'm not gonna say no to another cur blurry chaser. Um, man, we've actually just been getting good cards passed to us in like every color. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing quite a few good ones. All right, uh, flash, flash grenade or coastal curator. Curator is probably okay in a deck that's gonna have a decent number of spells. Um, but I think flash grenade is probably a little better. Now the test pilot makes my decision real good. No rallying sergeant for you. I think sergeant's good. I think we actually have enough things that are on the higher side that just getting a few more fours, especially one who's as good as Tauride test pilot is a pretty good plan. Uh, Horde duelist or shield crafter is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. He's really good for activating uh, onslaughts at a, at a moment's notice. It's sort of like two, in later games, it's two cost to activate an onslaught, which is quite good. Yeah, Tarride's really good because it plays defense well, and because it has twist, it also plays offense well. Uh, gaining one armor will also be relevant to the at least two uh, things that we're playing, rel uh, relic weapons that we're playing. Um, let's see, I don't think much of Warfront Missionary. I don't know that Heist is going to make it into this deck, but I think it's slightly more likely than Outdraw. Um, I'm okay taking a Coastal Curator this late. That's actually kind of nice. Don't really care. Wow, that is a stupid late Bulbous Humbug. There were definitely good decks we could have gone with in a lot of directions here, oh, yeah. which is interesting. Um, those are definitely all out. We have a, a, a Recano deck, which I feel pretty good about. Um, I will get rid of for sure. For the Coastal Diplomat here. Beyond that, I think a lot of things are pretty open. Um, as far as spells go, 
So Detain is actually playable in this format. Mm -hmm. I probably won't in this deck because I think it has enough other things to do. Um, but there's things like Detain turns Mob Rule into a two card, like kill anything with six or less uh, attack. Uh -huh. uh, and if you have any units, that number goes up even higher. Um, we've obviously got the Withstand, which is real good. I think Hopper Hall Blessing probably isn't that useful in this deck. Um, encouragement probably isn't strictly necessary. I think Heist is probably better for the warp that's on it. Yeah. Um. Keep our arm. Um, with two relic weapons, I don't think we have enough payoffs for them to need it. And I think, again, we have a lot of removal, which is nice. Yeah, that can go pretty easily. Um, I don't think I care too much about the 1-1 Wisp in this. It's really like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Justice, Fire, and Primal to coins that you were pretty happy to splash in most cases. Um, out of everything here, Postal Curator is like kind of nice for stalling out the board a little bit, but... Not necessarily amazing. Um, fire spell sword good enough for this deck. I do kind of like him at one just to get the activation on fetches. Uh, got two, four, five, six, seven, eight two drops. So I could definitely get rid of one of them. Not sure which one's the best one to get rid of. Yeah, Soaring Guard is definitely worth asking. He's got, like, the value of the Short Sword and the Mithril Mace, making them a bit better, but kind of awkwardly. Um, so we're... This deck will probably... Um, with the standard 17 power sounds about right. The Manufacturer can probably go... Um, and then we either get rid of a unit or we get rid of... I feel like it's either like Spire, Spell Sword, or Heist here. Maybe it's Spell Sword, go down to 17. I'm gonna use the bathroom because, of course. Yeah, every time. The second I start drafting. Yep. It All right, happens. you can uh, take a look at some hands, see if any of them look too terrifying. All right. Um, perfect in every way. Play up. No, that's not power, but. Uh, yes, we have ones and twos, I swear. That's not any good at all. The fire. There's our fire. Well, uh, that might be still, you know, on a redraw, not that bad. With Justice being our biggest faction, we can play the two blurry chasers. Um... And then, you know, hopefully one of the next two power we get to play this guy is the Jossa. That to back up. I wouldn't keep it on an initial draw. Um. Alright, it's not too bad. Amazing. <laughs> we just, we have all our defiances. It'd be great. We do have a play on two because we have that guy. Uh, and a play on not oh, horrendous either. The power deck, yeah. Woo. No. Oh, Blink Wolf, Bright Mace. And we even have an emerald point to put on him. Yeah, that's that's oh, that's pretty decent. Pummel 2 to get in an onslaught. Like that. That! <laughs> Hi, Dashing Rapscallion. You don't really want to see her in your opening hand. Uh, yeah. Not ideal, but not terrible either. I got the Defiance. Blink will try and activate him. There you go. Nothing, uh, too Play 
that spiked helm. Oh, a lot of really uh, low cost spells. Plus the almighty withstand. Uh, Tinker's Apprentice is actually really good for, for just pumping it up. Making that a four. Making everything bigger. Like giving him an extra one to twist him even further. Is Bird bigger, making her bigger, always a good choice. A pretty decent Rakano deck. How are you all doing today? Yeah, we stream Eternal every Friday. We actually stream uh, a lot, a lot of other games as well. I guess we'll be right back. You can hear him. How'd the hands look? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> some of them were, you know, uh, I, I was like, I swear we have twos in this. <laughs> uh, some of them looked pretty all right. Mm -hmm. So. I'm surprised we're actually as low on threes as we are. Mm. Like threes are usually real there. easy to get in this format. We picked a lot of twos over them. Mm. Alrighty. Hey, yes, I do. Uh, used to do something awful let's plays, and now uh, your feet even. Basically, we do all the streaming. With fewer feet. Yep. Let's see what we got. Alright, let's do it. Universal set. Don't really like either of these in my opening hand. Um. He does smooth for a bit. It's like a question of, do I take a hand that has like several things of power and then this eventually coming up or do I dig for something yeah. that might just not work out? I, I think I'll keep this. We'll see how it goes. I'll shift him out on two unless they play something that I really want a silver short sword. Yep. They did go down one, which is good. Dark Souls was fun. Basically, oh, uh, Geoff and I became friends. Aww. Reporting in. Hmm. Now it's a bit more interesting. I like doing this because it means they don't get an onslaught trigger if they have one. Yep. I think that's pretty strong here. Let's go. Oh, that's at least a little annoying. That does mean I'm losing the uh, rest of the weapon, but that's okay. Question now is, do I shift these guys or do I try playing? I'd like to scout, I think. Try to find something a little better. Uh, I think I can do better than that. Yeah. Basically got a one for one trade on the knife anyway. Kind of a nice thing about it. Let's go. Man, they got that like proper leg. Bring it on! Yep. Don't do it. This is so obvious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> The obvious. Mm -hmm. Definitely have to figure out something to do about that guy since I can't yeah. use Pummel on defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of these guys, really. Nimble Conscript, quite good. Yeah. Once this guy unshifts, I'll at least be able to, like, double block him. Yeah, yeah, if they have a Dairy yeah, Maneuver yeah. or a Pummel, I'm in trouble, but not all I got right now. I mean, 
I am kind of ahead in the health department, but not now. They've got some pretty strong stuff here. That's good to get, though. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hold your standard. That's what I'm debating. I feel like I really want to keep a Shugo standard when I got two of these guys. Yeah. Ideally, I dig down to power here. Um. We don't have a fast spell, so that's good yeah. to know. Mm -hmm. That is certainly annoying, though. That's definitely an issue. Yep. Yeah. I think what I actually do is hold to kill the conscript off. Ooh. How greedy do I want to be? <laughs> I think I need that Shugo standard more. Can't. Oh, we can with the, with the standard. <laughs> that happens. Yep. Then ideally wins me the game. We shall see, considering. Yeah. It's your pick, I guess. I mean, there's no way that they're dumb enough, but I might try it. Ah, yes, uh, they do in fact stop you when you're about to kill someone. Yep. Um, this isn't lethal, right? Just six no. attack for my hand. You only have five power in it. Yeah. That is an issue. That's a problem. Yeah, withstand is fast. Withstand no. is in fact fast. It's unfortunately not gonna save my ass. Nope. Uh, I think it's lethal. It's not lethal if I use withstand, but if I use withstand I lose. I think it is even. Jack just got drawn a little awkwardly. Yep. And the. Uh... I mean, he got a lot of big things down real fast. Yep. Yeah, fuck him up. Close. That was close. If they hadn't gotten the fast spell there, I think we would have won. Or, like, if they hadn't buffed that up with the machete, I think yeah. we might have had a chance. That was definitely a problem. Yep. And we couldn't kill it. Yeah, it's like I also took the took a bit of a slower approach to that hand. It's weird, because I really prefer holding those fat, like, the, the standards in this format. Uh, fast tricks are so rare. That having them is actually really strong. Uh, it's pretty much always limited. I I barely ever get my pack of the day even. Nah, probably not. Uh, yeah, I actually like that. Steadfast to get the. Yeah, I'll get him as a th like I'll basically play him as my three drop. Really buy the community emote pack at some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trust the well, winds. I'm glad that they couldn't play that uh, onslaught. onslaught yeah. 
That card is ridiculous. I protect the light. Really prefer you don't kill this guy. Be nice. That would basically be the one thing that I ask of you. Oh, that's oh, fine. For the pool. Yep. I will stand watch. For the arene. Well, we've got our five power, which is nice. As long as we don't pull Dashing Wrath Scallion, we can do whatever. I don't know what their deal was. They had to have pulled this for like for sure uh, off the top of their deck because you just play this on turn one. Yeah. Rather than her. Okay. The throne Not sure I agree with that decision, but hey, you do you. Uh, that's nice. Unfortunate that they have two flyers now. Yeah. Do it, coward. I don't have any power. Nope. Ah, double blocking. Yep. Or not. All right. Fair enough. Well, let's see how much they can scout. Definitely worried about them being in the air, but at like one damage per. Not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. We'll definitely play her down. Might just get outraced here, unfortunately. And this is really where isolate, like yeah. you, you kind of see the issue with it. Um, I'll definitely take that off the top of my deck. Leave him back, but you can't even really block profitably. No, he's mostly for attacking it. They yeah. will be punished. Fired at, huh? Nope. Yep. Three wolf stains. Mm-hmm. How much damage do they have on board? Two, three, or two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. Um, so I'll probably need to block with like something or other. It's mostly a question. It's like, do I gunsmith or do I withstand, you know? Then you're invulnerable unit? Um, potentially. Yeah, I drew the win the damn game card. The nice thing though, I think flash grenade actually is gonna turn my clock back. Hmm. Um, what's your back or do you? I probably go all in. They try to kill the wolf, and I withstand the wolf. Ah, okay. So I got four to their face here. I flash grenade here when they all in, uh, and they lose a bunch of damage. One, three, six damage, ring me down. Five. It's almost like, do I even use this, you know? And you wait for. Wow. 
I think I'd rather keep my life total here. Shame you don't heal when they have minus one. Yep. Ideally, they can only play one thing. Ooh. That does help, though. Oh, I think that's just it. That's probably just lethal. That's lethal, yeah. Give that thing overwhelm. Ah! Uh, is that still do you, lethal? Do you save that, Ten. or do you just bend? That's still lethal. I think I have to play it on this. Yeah. With this? Okay, this. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that was probably like Kappa. Yeah, if you typed Kappa, don't type Kappa. Link Wolf's in all of my hands I know, forever. Right? I'd probably still keep this though. Like if I can get an emerald coin on a blurry chaser, it's yeah. actually real mm -hmm, strong. Mm -hmm. Shugo standard for potentially keeping or Yeah, I'm kinda debating just playing the Shugo standard first, first. here. Mm -hmm. Um Faithful's nice to know about. Sort of like, when do I want active power versus inactive power? Like, on turn three, I play this emerald coin. On turn four, it's probably good to just have this for sure. It's a bit awkward, but I think I do this. I think I got a little bit greedy in the previous game. We'll see if we flood out. As we flood out. Um... Nice thing about it. So, like, hopefully they don't play something that has three attack. Um, I don't really want to lose them. That's fine, though. Yeah, this basically goes about as good as it possibly can. Um, I even warp that card out. Yeah. Wow. I do lose out on playing another Blurry Chaser, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Um, I do get to scout afterward. There we go. Okay, so I have to do... This draft format is... Probably the most complicated Eternal that I have, like, played, by the way. I played this. Uh, it is like, eh, I'll have other turns where I can play Svetius Faithful, especially with what I'm doing. I really don't want to not have, I, I don't want to have to, like, sit. The question is, do I play it on him or do I play it on this? Because, I mean, I only... In fact, I have enough power to play the Warhawk. And if I get the Onslaught on that, then I have a 5-4 in the air. Yeah. Which seems nice. And then I even get to turn him into this. Um... I only need to pull one power for her to be playable. Yeah, and I have, have a billion other things to do. We have plenty of things to play so. until we get her. This so, all yeah. seems fine. Ah! Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh, I would have gotten him as a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. I can at least play these, which is nice. Um, but, and like really, if I have to throw my Blink Wolf away to get this guy into Gigantic, that's fine. Yep. I'm holding a Vulture back. Oh, Good for we them. have the power. They're also missing a color, which is nice. Honestly, fine with that. Cause those like them having four damage in the air would be pretty bad for me. Um, you know, if anything ever died for them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. And we get uh her now. Yep. If we so choose. I have flash grenade if they've got a trick or anything, but they might just be kind of stuck. Um, Catch me if you can. So this is also a situation where flash grenades really good because if they try to take some sort of multi block on her, it just isn't happening. Yep. Yeah, whatever their third, their second color was, they did not find it. Nope. Love rules. Located in basements. First. Yeah, we have no idea about that, oh, about man, why it does yeah. that to yeah, Fire Emblem nope. 6. <laughs> AP6, specifically. Why Automon hates that and not AP7? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I can shift this on two. I'll yeah. play it. Again, better than going down. I think if I had this as my first hand, I'd be. I swear I'd we have on twos it. in this deck. It's funny, yeah. These are like all the threes in our deck. I focus your mind. Really love to pull some spells. Yeah, spells. Spells would be nice. Important that she's uh, that those are permanent. All right, that's a good spell. That that's a that's a spell to draw. Be redeemed. Redeemed. I enjoy being redeemed. No, so it's fine. We love rebounds per game. <laughs> oh baby. Oh, that's ridiculous. I will stand watch. For the yep. Onslaught is really interesting because it really like changes up how you decide to order a turn a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Like the the calculus of what makes a good turn suddenly gets a lot more uh, complicated. Thought I picked that daring maneuver up. Yeah. Didn't think so. Yeah. At this point, I think I just this go for broke here. Is. Get them down to 10, get another unit out. I don't really have anything else to do. Yep, fair enough. I think they could attack in with that Vorlunk and I wouldn't be able to stun it, but oh no. <laughs> wow, you're a bit worried about that card I couldn't get Never past a 1-1. Yeah. All right, yeah. So you're just a two cost, two, three. Um, Honestly, if they take the chump on the 1-1, one, one, that's, like, fine, isn't it? Otherwise, and I play Daring Maneuver on, like, whatever else. I mean, I guess uh, they trade off the Kyle Darren for their t for the 2-3, and that's fine. Especially with the Test Pilot coming up, and then I use Daring Maneuver to save the Faithful. And, like, if they really want to chump the 1-1, one, one, that's fine. I think their priority should probably be better than that. I was gonna say, like... Cost two, right? You can get used to this. Get used to yes. this. Get used to this. And then we play the paladin as well. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure I'd have your priorities, but hey, do you? Yep. Didn't Fair think enough. So. Fair enough. I mean, it did be just beat the 13 ranked master. That's good. That feels good. Always nice. I mean, we're in diamonds, so we're gonna see plenty of Masters players if they're playing. Hmm. Yeah, going down the line is balls as hell. It's the sort of thing, like, they they just wanted to see one more card. Both of my Blink oh. Wolves! <laughs> <laughs> you really vastly prefer Blink Wolf to be on your, in your deck. Yeah, we've seen Warp um, do Warp for us. I warp is really good in this format. I don't really have much. Uh, doesn't feel amazing. I do at least have the silver short sword into Svetch's faithful a lot of the time. Um, touch of a ballsy keep, but hey. Yep. Again, like I, it'd be going down, and at least this hand is all green. Oh, fire! That's fantastic. Hello. Thank okay, you. that is very very Extra good. Extra power and fire, so that's good. Well, and a chance, and like I can curve out a little bit better now. Yeah. Play something with one health. Sharp wings. Thanks. Sharp blade. This is actually perfect, um, because even sa if I have to sacrifice this weapon for nothing, I can still play out the Svetch's Faithful and play a coin on him. Yeah. 
As long as they don't like char my weapon for some reason. Choose your side. Oh no, my side. I don't really want to see her, but No, like neither of these were great pulls, but hey. I will stand watch. For the arene. That's pretty decent. Good shot. Yeah, Blink Wolf only exists what's in our hand, apparently. Basically. We do have ice on. Yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna block this if they attack in. That is the most obvious high I have pummel or uh, daring maneuver. One, two, three, go. Weird. Yep. If folks don't know, I count down like that to make absolutely certain that even if they're hovering over the thing that I get to see their fast spell pause. I don't think most people, like, play that way, but it's also like, you know, any sort of incremental advantage is actually pretty good. Uh, I think I twist her here, and I think with Flash Grenade in my hand, I would be more willing to block that. You just play her shifted? Yeah. Focus, you you knew the keyword that I meant. I get you. Yep. I actually, thinking about it, might have wanted to block there, but eh. The real problem here is the Horn of Plenty that they're gonna end up playing. Yep. Yeah, I, so the block I actually take here is the Quicksilver Ooze, which they then Daring Maneuver, but I Flash Grenade so that my guy lives and that Ooze dies. You know, unless they don't want to do that, which I'll just take it. You just have a one damage ping. You do. Uh, eh, Char's good. It was worth considering just flash grenading preemptively. Oh, good to see a power. Um, don't really have anything I can do. Yep. Yeah. Shouldn't be activatable. I didn't think so. <laughs> Weird. Just flashing. Yep. Yeah, I think actually thinking back on it, it would have been better to preemptively flash grenade there, even if it, mm. like, they wouldn't have used the char, but I would have gotten the kill and kept him, so it would have been a one for one. That was a misplay. All right. Here's hoping we draw power. Ignite. That is power. Eventually. <laughs> Someday power. Um, At this point, I'm going to grenade. lower my damage by six by just flash grenading. It's such a waste, but at this point, I don't really have a choice. Like, taking out six, like, lowering your damage by six of one thing is real nice, but yeah, I think we just, uh, we're not going to win this. Let's put it that way. Catch me if you can. Yeah, my mistake there was not flash screening when they didn't use the fast trick. Because I like I knew they had a thing to do stuff with. Um Damn. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the power for it. Yeah. I feel like if you could remove her, you really should have done it before. <laughs> Like, do I want to trade that 2-2 two, two for a... Uh, that, or do I just want to play him? I just want to play him. <laughs> ah, man, if I still have a 4-4. Four, four. Yep. Such a shame. That's the only unfortunate part. <laughs> They pretty much just got us here, unfortunately. Man, Isolate has just been awful. Yeah, it has not. We have the one time we could have used it, yep. we didn't. Uh... We didn't have the power up for it, which of course they're kind of attacking around that. Like they, I think they know we have an Isolate in our hand. Um, 
At the very least, they knew that solo attacking there was safe, even if I had an isolate in my hand. Yeah. And frankly, that's about good enough. Yep. Yeah, it's a totally different game if we flash grenade there. Oh well, learning experience. It matches quick tonight. Yeah. I think a lot more people have been playing draft lately. Oh. I might keep this. It's ballsy, but... It's real ballsy. If this was a three power hand, even if it was all justice, I'd definitely keep it. Uh, the big problem being that I only really have a one into a two, yeah, and yeah. it's a potentially bad one. I think if this was a two power hand with fire, this into this yeah. would be strong enough, oh, but yeah. as is, the four and the five mean I kind of have to redraw. Oh, Jesus. Into a worse hand. Oh, Jesus. That's how it be sometimes. And that on turn two, at least. Yeah, shame cube for isolate. We have a much better isolate now. I don't know our testing. Isolate probably isn't good enough. It's interesting. It feels like it has to be at least playable, but it's definitely way less so than I originally thought. They placed, like, a firepower and charging unit out here and, like, get on them. The scout here is quite nice. Yes, yep. I want that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a good boy. A thing to play, you don't say. That'd be the kind of thing we're looking for. They just play him out. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll defy that. So I won't use his uh, scout here. I have a play next turn anyway. Attack in a oh. An interesting question. Do I let them have that or not? I think I'd rather keep this. A blurry you chaser. will pay for your crimes! Does mean I'll have to figure out something to do about this guy, but you know. If might, I can pull a power, I'd be in good shape. Might eventually have a mace, yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to the skies! The sort of thing, if I pull power next turn, it's great. Uh, after that, I don't think I'd be all, like, I'm certain that they will play another unit by next turn. There we go, though. That right. kind of just solves all of my problems. Um, I think I just double scout here. Try to see if I can find power, because I really want that mace eventually. Uh, mm -hmm. And then attack in. If they really want to trade out, I'm fine with that. Not power. Also not power. Nice, because neither of those are cards that I'm super eager to have, you know? If they do attack in with it here, which is what I'm kind of trying to bait, I at least defiance it out. Yep. And then Mithril Mace, which is nice. Uh, Toride Test Pilot, really good with Mithril Mace. Yep. You can twist it to give your uh, mace more power. Stay alert. Ah, they don't even attack in with it. Fun. Um, do you Mithril Mace their... Uh, worth asking about. Play the Toride and then hold for defiance. Yeah, that's really the question. Or even like twist him, start trying to get a bit more in. Kind of want to have Mace and Defiance because Mace will get them to attack in, which then I punish with Defiance. Mm. Um, that or like a combat trick. Combat trick would be. Alright, so it's. Uh... Boy or twist <laughs> To the skies! I'm all right with this. Do another damage to them. I could kill him. Yeah, you could kill him. By the way, if your twist would kill a unit, uh, you the game gives you like an extra prompt so that you don't just accidentally yeah. click on it, which is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I could see that happening. Yep. This lonely herd of live. That guy's a problem. 
bullseye. I don't actually care about that. In fact, I would love if that got you to actually attack in. That would be wonder bar. Some might say. You will pay for your crimes. Shame I don't have isolate or the power to use it. Yeah. Oh, that's real good. Um. Put your bird down. Yep. If they can power this guy up, I have a problem. Ideally, I just play the Mithril Mace next turn and bop him. And then twist him and then pull him. But I do like having six damage in the air. Yeah? Generally a pretty strong thing to have. The potential for even more damage in the air. Mm-hmm. I could get used to this, as some would say. Yeah, do you have anything to buff him up? That's like the one thing that I'm scared of. Because right now they can't do the stuns uh, unless they find some health for him. If they hold up a refresh, that's also something that could work real well. No. Fascinating. Do you teleport one of my units back? Nah, refresh. Yes, of course, refresh is on that. Well, that's a problem. That is a big problem. Nah, mate. <clears throat> We finally did it. Uh, that's very good. Yeah, if we twist him once, we can kill him. Mm-hmm. I can get used to this! At least, I don't know. I'd rather they just don't get the value here. <laughs> Let's scare him into thinking we have another one. What's three uh, defiances? Dog is definitely real. They do know that Heist hit this. They don't know what it is, but they know that it hit it. Uh, it's worth asking about. I feel like Blurry Chaser, I'd need to get another like weapon to actually put on him to make yeah. him useful on this board, so... If this pulls a fast trick out on them, I'm fine with that. Especially because, you know, I'm gonna win on the board on the air, given enough time anyway. Plus, this one health means that the Mithril Mace ends up as a 4-6 instead of a 4-5, which is nice. Uh-uh. That's actually fine up their weapon immediately. Um, quite a shame that they didn't get the, uh, or that they didn't decide to attack in with this guy. A twist? Flick of the wrist, Elman said. I could get used to this! I could get used to this! That ghost blade's pretty good, and I'm glad they only got a one-one off of it. There we go. Yeah, I will happily block with the blurry chaser here, or with the uh, blink wolf here. Save that three armor. The nice thing is they can't play high alert. Ah, retribution. That is a good ass card. It's a pretty good card. It's at common, which is ridiculous. Yep. That's actually a really good thing to grab here. impactful than that. Yep. Gastromancer's compass is nice because it's going to turn him a bit bigger. Yep. Um, ah, do you have a way to do something? 
Um, I guess I could have just kept him as he was and just played the compass to get a better block on her, but yeah, difference. Still, does mean I've got that, which is nice. Um, Thank you. Didn't twist him so that he could survive. Yep. Do not twist this guy again. Yep. I think I can do better than that? That's an interesting question though. Like Let's getting rid of him is actually house. kinda nice. Yeah. I am at 22. Mm. Um, but I guess, hmm, that is an interesting one. I actually kind of like just being able to get rid of a chump blocker. Yeah. Like, if they didn't have a 1-1 one -one on this board, I would absolutely have gotten that. It stops them from getting onslaughts as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, that 1-1 one -one could have activated an Onslaught, that's, which would be, like, Onslaught is so good. Yeah. Woo! It's just great to just be real, like, yep. goodbye. Exactly. Like, if they had any, if they had a bigger unit on the board, I probably would have been like, eh, I could yeah. do better. Like, I'd, I'd be looking for the Rapscallion at that point. Yeah, yeah. She will just finish a game. But the way the board was, that kind of stuff is actually quite good. As it turns out. Who knew? We're up against Nameless, whose name is Nameless. Not really enough playables. Hummel is useless in this, and so is Astromancer's Compass. Well, we can hold out forever. Um, not sure if that's really where we want to be, though. No. Like two defiances and an iron coin and some shit. They also went down, so you know. <laughs> Equal opportunity punching contest. They have a muck crawler, which is actually kind of scary. I'm gonna assume they're gonna pull into time eventually. That emerald coin is real good. Yeah, I'll be able to shift her out and play this coin, ideally. Uh, or, like, double uh, hit him. Worth asking. Nope. Okay, then. Um, okay. I disagree, but hey. All right. Maybe we can see what happened, I guess. <laughs> I won't say no. I feel like that was, like, a rage concede right there. Just, right. I, they've been having a bad day regardless of what I've done. Yeah. Regardless of the sins I am about we, to commit. We got him. That, I mean, <laughs> admittedly, them missing that turn meant we were about to have a really good turn. Yeah. Uh, we would have played that spell unit shifted and gotten a power that would have turned our guy into a bigger one and gotten him an extra shift, uh, as well as <coughs> turning him into a 4-1 eventually. Yeah. Uh, or even a 3-2 quick draw, which is pretty scary. Somebody just got yelled at <laughs> Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's dinner time. <laughs> That's just how it be sometimes. Yeah. All right, well, this run's going okay. Yeah, we're going to bring some hard-fought matches, yeah. so... We've beaten some Masters players, which always feels good. definitely gone a lot better than uh, last, last week's. week's. Yep. Last week's was a bit uh, disastrous. Up against Astro Thought 94 which is mwah, an A-plus uh, name. All right. Yeah, I'll keep this. 
Yeah, you've got the horde, you've got a blurry, you've got the emerald coin for getting your green. Yep. The great thing about oh, this no. is even if we like can attack in with this guy, I can attack in with this guy on the turn yeah. that I play the emerald coin. Yep. So this is actually a really good curve. <laughs> She's gone and made it awkward, but I can play her later. Honestly, her hitting the mithril mace is the best. Like the best thing in my hand that she could hit is actually the mithril mace. Yeah. So I can get her in whenever. Ideally, I pull a second, se uh, second source of justice. Thank you. Do I just play a blink wolf though? Ooh, that's real good. Um, Cause yeah, I probably just play out the blurry chaser here and then emerald coin it after they take this trade. Ah, uh, they don't even take the trade. That's even better. I do have to remember to actually play these as power, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just that little bit not ingrained mm. in me that I guarantee at some point I am going to play a sigil when I meant to play a coin. Play, yeah. Oh man, they wanted to streets of flame me. Get dunked on. <laughs> They have a Streets of Flame in their hand. Good to know. Oh, oh. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, okay, so what do we throw down now? It's either the Test Pilot or a Chaser and the Duelist. And I actually kind of like developing both of these because he he's not going to get too many more profitable attacks. Yeah. Uh, going forward. And then next turn, I can play the Tinker Apprentice and the Test Pilot. Um, it's actually worth asking which of these I want to buff, but for now, let's do this. That's fine. I'm not actually sure, because like a 2-5 in the air that I can twist into something even better is real good, but also a Mithril Mace with 5 health and 4 attack. Like, 4 attack on a Relic weapon is ridiculous, and I think that's what I'm going to go for here. Also, damn, this is value right here. These two together. Oh, yeah. Um, like, you really just play her for the 1-1 one, one, you don't really care yeah, about much else. Um, getting an extra damage off her seems real good. Mm. What they got? They still have the Charged uh, Streets of Flame. I was correct yeah, about that, Reed. They did, they did. <laughs> I want that to stand, though. God, it's like, do I, I think I just hit face here because they're not presenting me with anything. I've never seen a Blink Wolf go in for so much damage. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. I was gonna yeah. say, I think this game might just be yeah. done. Yeah, I think they were, they were stuck on three. Yeah, for the longest time there. By the way, that warp dino uh, is actually pretty good as long as you warp it. Yeah, if you don't. Like, if you don't warp it, it's not good. But if you do warp it, it's really, really good. Like a 3-3 three, three for 4 draw card is fantastic value. Um, so if you're playing in a deck, so like, it's, it's this weird sort of thing where in the past it was always like, warp cards are completely useless if you don't warp them and pretty good if you do. Here, I think a lot of the balance of power has gotten to the point where it's like, cards are really good if you warp them, and bad but still playable if you don't. Mm -hmm. um, which means that you just see a lot more warp in general, and I think that makes games a lot more easy. Yeah. Or like, a lot more interesting. Not easy. The opposite of easy. <laughs> this, is a, this is a really tough format. Absolutely complicated. Yep. Hello. Playing against Aging, Aging Goblin. Goblin. <laughs> oh no. That is a great name. That is fantastic. Um... I might keep this because the standard. if there's a hand, Isolate can play it. Or like, yeah. like, like if there's, if you can play Isolate, it'll almost always be early game. Yeah. Um, it's not amazing, but it does have a lot of our power. We can kind of defer the decision on the Shugo standard. Uh, I'm actually kind of okay with this. Yeah. You know, like if we draw good cards, we can play the Shugo standard. If we draw more power, we can play not the Shugo standard. Proud to serve. Thank you. Yeah. We can play not the shoe game standard. Yeah. The throne awaits. Pretty good. Yeah. 
I'll at least be able to defiance that guy, which I will definitely do. Yep. Oh god, you wanted all the power. Yeah, we right? found the power. We found it. It's definitely a bit of a risk to keep this hand. I'm actually kind of happy to remove that armor. I don't know what their second color is, if it's Argentport. Uh, like, Argentport armor you and relic weapon decks are actually guys. pretty good. Honestly. Alright. I don't know that I'm going to get a better use out of Isolate. Yeah, that's incredibly true. That's, Ooh, nice. thank that's God. Good. That's good, that's <laughs> good. I'm glad that I have a play now. Okay, what are they, what does Justice have at that spot? Flash Two grenade? Stories. Uh, not flash grenade. What does Justice have at that speed? <laughs> I'm like sitting here wondering to myself what Justice has at that speed. I don't want to see if I can catch them here. I'm very worried about that existing. Getting big. Yeah, basically. Like, I, I don't really want them attacking in for one here. I don't have quite enough Never damage leave home in. Without a good blade. Huh? Uh. Yeah, that's damage to their face. I kind of need to play for as much value as I can right now. Um, I'd love to pull a withstand. I could get used to that. With this, you can. If I'm doing two damage, they're doing one damage, or they're gaining one health. Still not a thing I really want to do all that much, but that does kind of help the math a little bit. Mithril Mace would be quite nice now. Hmm, wish I had a spell to back him up. Yeah. They could bounce if they want to take three damage to the base. Yep. Yeah, and that's also fine. That's the spell they have. You will pay for your crimes! Kinda disagree with that decision, but hey, you do you. I think they had another pause there. I might be wrong, but. Bring it on! Going down to one's a little risky. Um Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was dumb. Yeah, I'm not, I, you did it brain. so you did it so fast. That, that was, was my like, brain. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it actually ends up being better. That's a problem, though. That can get them back in the game. Here it is, a situation where I'll actually just play it for four. Yes. I could get used to that. Um. Do me anything here? Yeah, if they attack him with the 3-3, three, three, that's actually kind of nice. They probably won't, though. It's also nice. I will flash grenade next turn. Or, like, you know, this turn here. Uh, because it'll stop, it'll break the Aegis, and then I'll just defiance it, because it's a problem. You will pay for your crimes! Shit. Your bloodline is weak. Yeah. For... Ah, okay. Play a one-one disfigure on each end. Same name. God, they have a lot of uh, life steal here, huh? Yeah. Um. They are gonna kill my relic weapon next turn, which also sucks. That guy came out at the absolute perfect time. Yep. The point where it would almost be worth waiting, but I don't think I could have afforded to not play there. Anything for some coin. Yeehaw! Their deck is fantastic. Be redeemed. We're still in an okay position. If we can pull Dashing Raph Scallion and they can't kill it, then we might have a chance. 
We're boned. We're boned. They're about to gain a ton of health, kill off my, yep. uh, should we call it, Everything. paladin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you absolutely twist that. Be gone! All right, well, six and three ain't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my deck was drawing pretty hot anyway. Yeah. Yeah, kill that, put a wanted poster, kill whatever you put the wanted poster on, and then attack in. Yep. Yeah, their deck is real damn good. Their deck's pretty good. They've uh, got a whole ton of, like, bomb uncommons. Because, like, this is this is a bomb uncommon, this is a bomb uncommon, this is a bomb uncommon. Uh, this is a bomb uncommon. Like, their, their deck is pretty okay, it turns out. Hell yeah, fuck them up. Play fucking heist. Play heist and then. I don't know if I can even play heist. I'm I'm legit not sure if you can play it if it doesn't have targets. Oh yeah, you need a weapon in your hand. Okay. No clue. God yeah, and they were able to just get you get completely out of like dashing rap scallion range too. Yep. They have high alert in their hand, for the record, so we're gonna die this turn. Yep. Alright, they don't have high alert in their hand, because it would have been lethal. Be gone! They don't have anything in their hand. Weird. They have a fast spell. I feel like it might be another, uh... One of them things. Why not? They will be punished. That makes me sad. I have to play with stand on this guy. And I don't get the free kill on one of the guys. God withstands such a stupid spell. Um God. Ain't no win here. Nope. Yeah, fuck him up, Tinker Apprentice. Be redeemed. Uh, Just kidding, it's defiance time. Never been <laughs> home without a good blade. Yeah. Relic weapon, defense. I just well, yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, that card's pretty good. If yeah. you have like relic weapon stuff. Oh, hey. I feel pretty happy about this draft. Got back up to like halfway through Diamond. Probably not going to make Masters tonight, but that's fine. Six three is pretty good. Yep. I can't feel bad about a six three, especially when I get the, the loser seven three. Yeah. With the one chest that could spin up, spinning up. I have to piss real bad, so let's look <laughs> at what the uh, first pick of this draft is and then uh, go on from there. Who's racket? Do you Probably have racket God. When you gain shield, draw that many cards and take twice that much damage. <laughs> All right. Ah, well, retribution's there, and that is a fucking great card right there. Uh, war wagon. I keep seeing war wagon being played against us as a unit, and you really want to play that as a shift five. Uh, daring maneuvers good. Corrupted behemoths really good. Sea cancers is definitely. And Retribution is just like, at worst rebuke, the best just fucking kill. It is a bomb of a removal card. I've only seen two cards in the pack, but the pick is Retribution. Pick is Retribution. Um, it is, yeah, absolutely. 100%. So, for the record, Retribution is playable both onslaughted and non-onslaught, like before and after the combat phase, because before the combat phase, it's, uh, like, uh, or before the combat phase, it's rebuke and it lets you get in to win. Uh, after the combat phase, it's 
just it's the best removal in the format. So yeah. there's that. Yeah. Um okay. Justice, so justice for the time. record, uh not that there's much worth in reading this, but uh War Wagon is pretty good. There's a lot of things that really want a buff uh, in this format, and it's actually pretty hard to come by a buff, especially a plus three, plus three. Someone was saying uh, that plus three, plus three, or plus two, plus two is the new plus three, plus three in this format. Yeah. And I totally believe that. It's With so much harder to just get yeah. big stats in this format uh, than it has been ever since, because this is finally a format without, uh, without Finest sure. Hour. Alright, Svetch's Faithful is really good. My glass is actually pretty good. Um, you get the scouts, it's nice. Getting a free uh, scouting party eventually is really good. You do have to get up to the point where you get it. Uh, outside of that, the person in front of us. So here's something that I did not know until yesterday. Um, every pack is guaranteed to have at least one card of each color. So... Given that there is one thing here, the person ahead of us guaranteed shadow. was guaranteed to have picked a shadow card. The the, the rare one. Was yeah, the, or no, a no. uncommon one of the uncommons of the is the shadow. Ones. Yeah. Oh, because that's the rare one. Yes, because that's yeah. the rare. Um, so, you can uncommon shadow. so okay. worth being aware of. Not necessarily, you know, doesn't dictate all their picks, but good to know. And like, I literally had no clue about it until Man and Mouse talked about it yesterday uh, when he was doing the draft event. That was on. Um, so yeah, Faithful I'm happy to see. Devotee of the Sands is fantastic. Uh, Submerged Titan is pretty okay. Finding Team's fine, but I think it's one of these two. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's probably best to just stay on color here. Yep. Let's see where we end up. Aggressive Earth Sign's quite nice. Streets of Flame and Nimble Conscript just dropped to us though. Ooh, yeah. So like, Fire feels pretty fucking open. The question is, would I rather take uh, yeah. One of these two versus the Emerald Coin or the Tauride Test Pilot. Bear is also a very good card. Um, it's kind of been bear. mentioned that Primal and Shadow are kind of more supporty colors. Um, so I try to be a little careful about drafting them early on. Just go full Rakano again. Uh, we could just play another fucking Rakano deck. Why not? Uh, yeah, so I'm honestly not sure because these are both really good justice cards and they keep us on justice and, you know, let us keep reading packs for a little longer. These are really, really good, uh, fire cards. I'd probably take the Streets of Flame here, mm -hmm. uh, if I pick a fire card. The question is, if I go with that Emerald Coin, I mean, we saw the work Emerald Coin did oh, for us in the yeah, last draft. Yeah. Having a plus one, plus one in your power is actually really good. Yep. Uh, but we saw Toroid Test Pilot do work as well. Well, we saw a lot of, uh, all these cars doing work for us. Yeah, exactly. I'm, god, it's it's probably safer to stay in colors, because it's worth noting, Quicksilver Ooze is a good card, and Submerged Titan's a fine card, so, like, it is still possible we end up in Combray. Combray is a very good, uh... It feels real awkward skipping a Streets of Flame, though. Mm -hmm. New Torch. Yeah. The new Torch, it costs three, and you're still perfectly happy to play it. That's how good Torch is. Yep. Uh, it hits sights too, not that that's that relevant. Although we did have a sight plate against us today. We did, we did. That did happen. I feel like it's between these two. I do love Toride Test Pilot. We'll see a lot of them. You don't say. We'll um, see a lot of them. Mining team's also decent. Does seem there's no time here. Um, pretty happy Probably to take the Test Pilot yep. here. Definitely over a mining team uh, here, though. So now we're sort of between, we've definitely been seeing fire a decent amount. Um, these two are both pretty okay time cards. Um, not incredible. This one's really, really good when you have twists, because of course, like two more for your Toride test pilot is ridiculous. Uh, and a one cost onslaught is really good because it's much, much easier to fit it in your curve. Um, and phase out is even pretty okay. So I really, I, we have to pick a second color here and I'm actually not sure. I might go with the Arcanum Elite here. Oh, um, it. worst comes to worst, I'm just giving up a mining team. Yeah. Like, you know, if, if, if we see another Nimble Conscript or Streets of Flame in the next pack. Yep, there we go. Then, uh, we can just kind of pivot and I don't feel awful for missing another mining team. Um... We'll say there's still like some really good time here and oh, Justice yeah. has actually kind of started to get lower. 
This is interesting. I think there's a good Praxis deck here. Um, and now it's sort of like Granite Coin, or do I pivot back to Quicksilver Ooze? Or do I just start playing Praxis entirely? I feel like of the three of them, I'm a bit more sure of time than I have of Fire right now, just of, based on the cards we've seen. Mm -hmm. Maybe I take this ooze, see if we can find some Horn of Plenties. Um, that is a late falling emerald coin though. God, these three colors are open. I need to make a decision. Uh, Displaced Erictodon is very good though, should be noted. These two spells are pretty awful. Um, this spell's not great. But it's basically between the Erictodon and emerald coin. It does feel like these this packs have been getting very Praxis as we've gone deeper into them. Yeah. Exciting here. Don't really care about any of these. That is a mm, late fucking blurry, yeah, chaser. blurry chaser. Wow. Hello. That's actually a pretty decent last grab there. Alright then. Hi. We're not playing this, but I'm taking it. <laughs> Go on that nine cost in your deck. Nine cost in this format is fucking impossible. Nine cost, but yeah. Someone dropped an accelerated impact to us, the fool. Um, there's Bladekin Apprentice. I don't think Tinker. Like, I think Mithril Mace is probably the best card on its face in this pack. <laughs> Co buddy is most upset with you. Look, I do two drafts in a night. I'm at least one of them. It's eight packs. I'm sure at least one of them is going to be a legendary. Um, there's Pyre Adept, Cloud of Ash. Does not seem like there's too much time here right now. Um, there's a lot of bad uh, primal, yeah. primal cards here. Um, I might take Pyre Adept here because I don't think I'm really giving anything up in the other two colors I'm trying to figure out. This seat would be nice if it was like one of the double colors that yeah. I have. Diplo Seal might be good. That's a that's a late sharpshooter. Um, Seek power is probably good if we decide we actually want to try three here. Oh god, this is tough. Also just good in general. It's, yeah. it's quite nice. Um, better than diplomatic seal for sure. Yep. Like... We've seen some real good fire cards, particularly in the first pack, and this kind of indicates to me that it is open in this pack. Yeah. Um. Probably being cut on Primal and Shadow, which is fine. Yeah, well, yeah, we weren't going for either of those. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sort of like looking at the things here to try to see if I can figure out. Like this, it looks like Mercado is probably what's open in these packs. Um, not really much for us here. Days, cause fuck it. Uh, Horned Vorlunk. Probably the best card here. Learned Herbalist is a pretty good late drop. The Fire and the Justice have also just like not shown up in the last few packs. So maybe I was wrong if someone's mm -hmm. letting a lightning mm -hmm. strike drop that far. Um, I mean, we just saw all the crappy Primo and went, nah. Yeah, basically. Okay. Shockingly late gun down. This line is not going to the deck. Hi. Hi, Dup. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we got our value in this draft. Yeah, woo! Alright, uh, Pummel? There's this Pummel, there's this Oasis Seeker. This is kind of telling me that maybe I just say fuck it and go Praxis, or and go Praxis with like a, spre a sprinkle of like you know, Retribution and Emerald Coin and shit. Yeah. Um, I think at this point, I'm gonna want to tighten up my units a bit. Yeah. <laughs> tighten <laughs> up the graphics on level three. Wormstone's um, pretty good. Backpacker's Machete is real good. Certainly over a Pyre Adept. Uh, Rebel Ooh, Sharpshooter's Rebel Sharpshooter, really yeah. good. I'll take that, I think, over a second Wormstone. Yeah. This is 
Sandstorm Scarf is interesting, and I actually think this deck probably plays it because I don't know what, if any, like flying I have. Uh, Especially if I cut the justice. So compass and Velen for. That is an interesting question. Go with Compass here. Uh, etchings or Blink Bolt? Hmm, that's a good question. I think Etchings is less good in this format, given how fast it is. And we have actually seen, like, Blink Wolf is a perfectly usable yeah. oh, card. Yeah. absolutely. Um, God, I don't really care about a second days. I don't think Downfall makes it into this deck, but, like, we'll see. The ends of these, uh, of the draft packs are generally just, you know, grab anything that you can actually use. Uh, Fritic particularly if you get master. lucky. Come on, Mark. Iron. Interesting. He's not awful, uh, particularly if we can get that onslaught on him. You kind of need him to make him a bear, um, but I guess honestly, cover fire marksman is probably just more consistent in helping us kill things. Uh, my three drops at the moment are also not a huge amount. Not three. I might keep this retribution, we'll see. With the coin as well? Yeah. yeah. The coin probably just goes in this deck, I think, unless I have some real deal influence requirements. Definitely need more units then. Reinforcements! There are so many words on this card. Jeez, that, that, that's a lot of words. Oh, retribution. That is Bulbous Humbug, which does make us a bit mm. better at playing yeah. uh, things. What I'd really like is, an, is to see another Horn of Plenty. Yep. Um, that would be quite good. We talked about how Sauropod Crasher is actually pretty good. Uh, Horde Duelist is pretty good, but we might actually be okay on twos for once. We got like one, two, not this, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't need need twos right now because I'm actually pretty happy to play most of these things. Like, Ire Adept is probably one of the worst ones overall. I think I just take a Sauropod Crasher. I don't really have too much to do it for anyway. Yeah, I'm not much big here. Nine in our deck. Hello, Ooh. Tremor Shocker. Uh, oh, hell yeah. That said, I think it's this one. This card is actually real good. Ah, so okay. the important, the most important thing to know about this is that's like multiple units. Yeah. So as long as you have enough of a board, this card costs three, which is ridiculous. Um, Justice is back to being open. <laughs> that's fine. Um, someone dropped another Peak Top Trekker to us. I think people are like kind of... When, when everyone, including myself, first saw Peak Top Trekker, they were like, holy fuck. And it's really good. That being permanent means even one scout means you've got your value. But I think it's not quite the complete bomb that people thought. Mm -hmm. um, the it's either the Eryctodon or the Blink to have a little bit extra removal type stuff. I might actually take a play a Blink in this deck. Yeah. We don't have a huge amount of removal. We're, no. we're okay for units. Like, I think if this was a bit better, like, in a bit better place in our curve, like, a yeah. larger card, honestly, I'd be super happy to see it. He might still be worth it, though, because he is a play on one. Like, it is important to remember that Shift 1 is actually really, really strong. Mm. Maybe I do go with that. Uh, wow, that's a real nice daring Hi. move yep, to pick up. Yeah, definitely want that. Uh... Um, phase out's actually pretty good on a pack that I don't have anything on. That's like basically the kind of removal that I was hoping for. Nothing relevant to Nothing us here. here. Gotta gotta fill out my insignias though. Um, we got a good idea at the time. A daring maneuver or a mute is an interesting question, but I think this deck, given that it's not super high, is gonna get more value out of daring maneuver. Uh, neither none of these cards are good. Uh, neither of these cards is good, and this card is not good. All right, well, we'll see what this deck turns out to be. That is faithful. Uh, he's definitely gone. The question is really, like, do I just cut this Retribution the Emerald Coin? Or do I just play, like, cut the Retribution anyway, because it does still screw up the, uh, power base. Mm -hmm. And, uh, keep the coin, because it's just a plus one, plus one. Yeah. It has seven cost scout relic. We do have Wormstone as a uh, DIY unit. 
six spells, although they're all kind of pretty playable. Um, I may need to go back and find some things to put in this deck. Which isn't a great place to be in, but you know. This deck does not want to be playing 18 power the way it is. Oh god, yeah. Um, particularly given that there's a seek power in here as well. Yep. Um, looking around at all of these. Like, god, ideally I'd really want to play, like, 17 or 16 in this, given that we have the Oasis, the Learned Herbalist and the Bulbous Humbug. <laughs> really sad I passed that, like, potential first pick uh, Horn of Plenty that I could have had. Yeah. It's a shame Retribution exists. Yeah. This is dumb, but do I actually put in, like, a bad fire trick instead? I might. Particularly with Warp, where it, like, gets rid of stuff. I mean, there's Outdraw, which is not... Oh, God. Nah, this... If this could go face, I'd probably take this, but I think the fact that it doesn't means I won't. Um, I think my fire tricks are probably better than Sudden Stampede. Manufacture. Manufacture's an interesting question. If I had a Horn of Plenty, I think this would absolutely be in. As is... Um, like, do I just put a fucking Bren Sprying in this deck as my way of saying that I wish I could have played more real cards? <laughs> Am I it? <laughs> Fuck it, let's just go full fucking delicious, delicious cheese. Actually, a bit awkward, but you know. This does play. Yeah. Probably play the compass first and then him second. Or, er, yeah, the seek first. This plays a little bit less than that last hand. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just do this. <laughs> Let's just fucking roll. Let's I don't do know it. what this deck is going to do. Uh -huh. I imagine it flames out horribly because I didn't commit to Praxis soon enough. But uh, I guess we'll see. I mean, in our defense, Justice was really open and it, it was fucking done. Yeah, like, I think I would have committed to Justice if it had been a bit more available in the first pack. I think the fact that it kind of dried up and then right at the end we had a few decent ones and that was what told me I should probably be going Praxis. Uh, particularly when the second set of how of the the second set of car or set of packs had a lot more Praxis support but your draft packs aren't really like they tend to be bad basically. Yeah. Um so it isn't necessarily something you should go off. Well, we'll see how this does. If nothing else, I got a 6 win deck tonight. So even if this goes 0-3, I'm at least 50%. This is awful. This plays. Yep. Play that boy in one? Yes. Like, the great thing about shift cards, particularly shift one cards, is that they give you things to do on one that are actually really impactful. It's why Conscript is really good. Um... It's probably the best chance we're going to use it, but you can always... No, I, I, him having Overwhelm is actually uh. pretty good for him. Uh, but I'd rather develop the board, to be honest. Reporting in. I think we have enough power, so I don't really need the secret pages. If there was like a wormstone in my hand, I would absolutely trade it over. But there Let's ain't. see, a little bit of this. I think as is, I'm actually okay. This deck is gonna play pretty low to the ground. Try and get that onslaught. Yeah, even if it takes a daring maneuver. All right, so they have an onslaught. That's fun. Or not? Interesting. It's even better for us. I fucked up. I told you I was gonna do it. Yeah. I didn't play the Emerald Coin. Oh, um, you played Power. I played Power. Right. It's. I told you I was gonna do it. Luckily, I don't have anything I actually want to play. Can you play the Emerald Coin on a ship. Uh, no, because you can't, actually. Uh, yeah, okay. Ren scrying, baby! Looks like we've got someone else, a true believer. Yeah. It's probably good that we can now play out on that coins. Yeah. I want to give her a bit more beef. Um, because she's the one who actually has, like, a bonus condition attached to her. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> all our power. At this point, I kind of wish I had pulled the Shark secret pages just to filter Shark out my deck a little bit. Yeah. Okay. 
It's actually pretty okay here. But you kind of want them to do a bit more, uh, to, like, you know, put something on her or something. Plus, it's not like I have anything else to do, you know? She's threatening two damage right now if yeah. I don't phase her out. They play like a backpacker's machete on her, then it's suddenly like, ooh, I'm happy. And it costs one, so it's very easy to fit into things. Like, I probably do play this on her next turn, unless I'm all the rest of my power is committed. Um, at the same time, he's potentially a better target anyway. That's quite good. Uh... Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. Thank. Hell yeah, one health. At this point, honestly, I'm at 16. They're they're threatening four damage. I keep this so that I can just fucking empty their board out next turn. Yep. Yep. Like that actually, I I would use this to protect my face, but there's not that much, you know. Like if they attack in with both of these and play two units, or if they just choose not to attack in, I've got two removal spells coming. Yep. Yeah, if they attack in just with that and then play one more unit, we win. All right, we win. Well, we win. That's good. I enjoy winning. Hell yeah! Got that yeah, grandfather's woo! axe back. Love having an axe back. <laughs> I hate that card. Love it's so bad. An axe back. One what? Plus one plus one is not enough to pay three, like of a difference on board to play three four. Plus one plus one is great when you get it on a Tinker's Apprentice, which costs one, or uh, an Emerald Coin, which costs zero. When it costs three each time, the card advantage just does not mean anything. Uh, Backpacker's Machete with Quicksilver Ooze. Yeah. I mean, throw down a uh, Blink Wolf if you feel like it. Oh, we do. I feel like it. Yeah, like the Renown meta was basically where it, where it worked. And like, even with Renown, I wasn't that huge on it. Ah, and then we're just gonna get him out off of a billion, uh, off of a uh, billion oozes. I like this hand, it's good. Good. They're gonna play their training ground here. I probably don't take the Yeti. Yeah, Ooh, the and you miss it. That's actually a bit scary. <laughs> Here's a situation where that's kind of a shame. One yep. of the few. You know, like if I had one more power, I'd be super happy to just draw a card and play him out. As is, I'm okay though. I have a lot that I can do. Three, four, five, six, seven. So if I twist this guy once and they don't manage to kill anything, they, uh, I get to play him for three. Like a two turn plan, but a seven, six overwhelm is something you do a lot for, you know? Yep. Um. Yep, so here's him costing three. They were also playing a bit slow, which is nice. Uh, really don't want them to put out something big because this devotee is definitely an issue. Ah. I mean, even if they get rid of it, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, you know, he gets put back a bit, but they're still not actually doing anything, which is nice. Um, really could use some power eventually. Yeah. I'm definitely going to just scout for power here. That's power. Hi, that's power. Sources confirmed, that's power. <laughs> they are stuck on three right now. That's actually. That's fine. Yeah. He's, even with that, we still got this boy out. Yeah. So. <laughs> Question now is, do I like hit that three three and then just swing the fuck in? Probably not. I think it's just shifting this guy out is a bit better value right now. Particularly getting the. Uh... Um, if I keep that, I can play my entire hand, but I don't. I need to do that. I think I'm okay with this. 
question now is if I attack in with 3-3, but nah, I think I can. Alright, what's your fast spell? Eat. So they'll twist him to, to fucking machine gun a bit, I guess. Yeah. Which is funny. I can always phase out. Oh. Yeah. They have one too. That's fun. <laughs> Alright, I think we should be able to just blow them the fuck up. Um, which seems fun. Wish I could play all three of these. Yeah. start. Yep. If I could have played him, it would have been nice. Alright, yeah. so they really want an onslaught here. Hopefully it's not too good, but I guess we'll see. They do have quite a lot of life, which is fortunate. Yep. Yep. That's definitely worrisome. Able to tap that. Can't you can't tap it. Yes. Damn. Damn. All right. Apparently, I chose poorly. Howard. All right. Uh, I'm really happy that this light em up is like stopping them from actually doing useful things. Let's go. Yes, I would prefer the unblockable damage. Okay, cool. He'll just die next turn if I don't shift him. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, this is the real problem. If they didn't have him. They, I think we'd have, we'd have this. Unfortunately, it turns out they do in fact have him. Yeah, pretty sure we lose, which is unfortunate. Kill off my 2-2. Two -two. Probably the 3-3, three -three, honestly. Turn it into a 6-3. Like, I feel like that's not really doing too much for him. <laughs> Really feel bad about missing that Streets of Flame early on. Ah, oh, going for both. Interesting. Ah. Oh. What? 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 Yep. Always the risky play when you do that twist unit. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, I think we would have had this if they didn't get that guy to stabilize them. Yeah. No blocks alone. Yep. That's right, baby, it's Bren scrying. Pure value. That was like playing Wisdom of the Elders for one. I mean you could have put her out and gotten one health out of it, but Yeah, it was a mistake. Let's see. We lost this game. Bit of this. I don't care. One health isn't gonna make a difference here. As soon as I couldn't keep attacking this guy and the game was over. Yeah. And they just keep on removing. That's right, baby, it was light em up. What are you gonna do, furnish? Backlash? Oh, it's totally furnish. Yes, 
not. Don't know what it was. It was Furnish. They could have saved that. I mean, I guess they're getting even more Yeti stuff. But like, eh. Let's not play this game out. I'll just get mad. They were taking forever to kill us there. Close. We have things to do. I don't know if there are any good things to do. Yeah. I think this deck wants to just get a really good draw by pure luck and uh, win the game. That's about all it's got going for it. <laughs> On the plus side, I've got a card that I can trade in for a much better card. Yay. Let's go. Woo, throw that card away. Wow, it's such a good card to turn into uh, fucking secret pages. I don't feel any guilt at all doing this. Let's see. A little bit of this. Yeah, Pretty good one. Definitely enjoy that. Um, that's actually really good for us. Let's patch you up. All right, I can't choose them. This will sting a bit. Yeah, I fucked up. Damn. Probably still fine. Like that's a pretty all right blocker. I just I meant to use it on him. Uh. Honestly, I was not block. expecting them to do that at all. I really wish I had played the power beforehand. Yeah. Because then I would have, I absolutely would have daring maneuvered, you know, that. Mm -hmm. Granted, yeah. if I had the power up, they'd probably be less likely to do the block full. Go knuck and futz. Sure, now you do it. Yeah. Well, next turn we twist him, get some more power. If they try to block my conscript, I get to uh, daring maneuver, but I don't imagine they do that. I feel like you just start turning that, even though you're kind of behind right now. Start going, it'll be a very scary fight for you. Yep. And they are, they do need to invest power into this guy, um, is the one thing. Yeah. That's kind of worrisome from their point of view. But I feel like if you're twisted him, you have to attack him. No question. Okay, so your twist costs two. two. gonna give it to me. Yeah, what do you what have? You got, what you got? Backlash? There it is. There we go. Someone actually played Backlash in draft. Yep. Uh, I think off that we might lose this game. Yeah, probably. That's that's good enough. Because we lose him next turn. Yeah, nothing we could have done there. Nope. Unfortunate. Yep. Because, like, if we hadn't done it there, we would have done it with him. We lost yeah. him. No real difference. Do you have any other combat tricks? I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't remember. I feel like it doesn't. There might be another one. What are the odds we pull the other one if it, ex if it even exists? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. We do have the thing that can shift them out of the way. Damn. Damn. 
Damn it. Well, we can put it on a flyer. Yeah, I'm I'm debating whether I want to put it on the humbug or not, but oh man. So close. Yeah. We could have saved him. Yeah. Too bad that's an onslaught. Oh lord. Yeah, we're just losing this game. Well, yeah. This game's just just yeah, over. It's over. We just got completely rolled there. On the plus side, we're not going to go 0-3. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know? Yeah. yeah, you know what? You know what? When your opponent just fucking draws better than you, what, what can you do? When your opponent draws literally everything. Aha! Bet you didn't think I had secret pages. He would have been a great one to fall. Yeah. Uh, right before the emerald coin. Yeah. That's the correct move. Yep. Yeah, man, this this draft really just needed some like good commons like Horn of Plenty, Corrupted Behemoth, like stuff like that, and we just never ended up seeing them despite these colors seeming to be open. Yep. Which is really a shame. The past and present as Eat. one. I don't want our power, yeah? Hey, we got a gold Ooh. chest. No, what? you didn't. You, you got more. You got that. <laughs> Use me? Uh-huh. Yeah, you did. Well, we have at least one more game this stream. Right? Well, we are two hours, so... We could have six more games. Who knows? We could. Let's go. Let's do it. This is below average practice deck. Let's do it. Roll. It is such a shame, too, because we even saw the Horn of Plenty right at the start, but there was a retribution, and I'm... I will first pick a retribution over a horn of plenty most of the time. It really is just the justice just dried up completely. Yeah, the the signals we got out of that out of that set of packs just did not like, like kind of really screwed me up. Yep. Which happens. Yep. I mean, the biggest thing is when you do two drafts a week, you're kind of really subject to the winds of variance, which is why last week we just got our shit completely wrecked. Yeah, we did. And why this week we could have a six three followed by a question mark. Could be anything. Five three. Yeah, exactly. I like the way you think. Mm-hmm. Do it. Let's take a minute. For this twenty-one second wait time. Yeah. I don't. I'm actually not sure why it's having this much trouble. We, this is our longest wait by far tonight. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, it is the sort of thing where like. I wonder if there would have been a better Rakano or a better, uh, what should we call it, deck for us, Combre deck for us to have. Um, that sure is a name that they have. This uh, is unfortunately not no. really a player game, playable hand. Neither is no. this. I'll do four damage to them. Hey. I'll be able to stun whatever unit it is, it is that's smashing our face in. Woo. Eh, everybody has disasters. Yep, it happens. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not from Glasgow. My, my family would be very offended by that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. Woo. That's actually yeah, good because it lets me twi it lets yeah. me scout down to uh time. Hopefully some time. <laughs> We'd love some time. Pretty pretty please. I haven't got any time. Fuck. Oh, that's so much better than ours. Um, yeah, I'll take that. 
Like, I could try to scout more, or I could just take the, the card draw. This, though, this can win them the game. What does that do? Loot ah. for one. One cost. Ouch. And, you know, leaves a flyer in the air that, you know, like, Toride test pilot stats with loot attached to it. I'm afraid where my family is from, we have to bash Glasgow. It, it's in our contract. We have a feud. <laughs> they, they could always just disconnect. Absolutely. We call them Ouija's. They call us Edinburghers. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, fuck me up. Yeah, woo! Someday I'll be able to sandstorm Scarf at least. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to throw away five fire symbols. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, finally, we got to. No, you have to wreck. He's reckless. That doesn't matter. An attack. God no, they'd have, they'd have eaten it. Yeah, he has four health. I'll finish this. Will I kill you? Yeah. Okay. That's uh, how quick draw works. Sorry, I didn't. If it doesn't. Uh, if you don't kill. Yeah, yeah. if it doesn't kill them, oh, it takes. Okay. They do the like the quick. The words on quick draw is uh, when it kills a blocking unit, the blocker doesn't deal damage. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's a bomb. Let's patch you up. <laughs> yeah. Throw that out there. Yeah, our opponent's sex just going off on us. This will yeah. sting a bit. Very much so. And you know, we just didn't get anything at all, which didn't help. I can stop him flying. I can. For all the good that'll do me. The journey to Amora is long. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, woo! Yeah, not a great deck to begin with, and it kind of just drew real bad this game oh, in particular. Yeah. Oof. It happens. Indeed. This really was just one of those ones where we lost this in the drafting phase. Yeah, yeah. Because like just didn't it, come together. there were three factions that were open, and but like, I'm not sure that any of them were open enough to build a full deck with, or at mm -hmm. least like a powerful enough deck. Yeah, is the biggest thing. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it's that guy. Oh, Lord. I mean, it's fine. It means we die faster, but... Yeah. Especially because this person's taking forever on their turns. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> Kill the Yeti. I could kill my boy. I've damaged my boy. Yeah, they, they buff their lightning spray. This is also, incidentally, why Arcanum Elite is such a good card. You have a few yep. good twists and, like, two extra twists on some of the really good units that twist is just fantastic. And, of course, Time already has some good ones. Um... I wanted to hold that for the Wormstone, but none of our decisions matter. Yep. At this point. Yeah. Let's patch you oh, up. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Jesus, we're being styled upon very slightly. Yep. Yeah, I think we're done here. Yeah. All right, well, a 6-3 and a 1-3. That's, that's the strap format yeah. in, a, in a nutshell. It's definitely a very swingy format. There are definitely times where it feels like if you just don't draft the right thing, you're screwed, but... Or, you know, like, if you don't if you don't get bombs, you're just screwed, but... 
It also feels like there's a lot of power, particularly in the uncommons of the draft set, and it's definitely, like, again, the most complicated draft format that Eternal has ever had, so... The games are definitely fun to play. I think that as I kind of figure out how to play, how to draft this format, I'm gonna get a lot better because I tend to be pretty okay at playing the game most of the time. Um, I'd say I'm a much stronger player than I am drafter. I just need a functional deck. Yep. But I do think this format will play to my strengths, at least. Eventually. Well, that bird. We're over 50% tonight. Oh, wizard bird. Wizard bird's real good. I don't think he's in the set. Scarecrow still doesn't stop any of the birds nope. in the set. Nope. Scarecrow doesn't scare crows. Nope. You know. All right. Well, that's it for us tonight. Indeed. Uh, tomorrow we have our bonus stream where we'll be finishing our speedster run of Vesperia. Yep. So we're near the end of Act Two. That game? Yeah, we're basically planning on playing out the rest of Act 2 and then Act 3 because Act 3 is going to be real short. Act 3 is tiny. In the speedrun context. Yeah, if you don't do any of the side quests, it's absolutely tiny. If you do the side quests, it's huge. It's gigantic, but uh, we won't because we we're won't. trying to go fast. Yeah, we're trying to go fast. So join us. That'll probably be around 2 EST. Yep. Cool. We'll see you guys then. More cards next week. Bye, yep. everyone. Bye-bye.